I often get comments from people just starting in this game that they are having trouble getting the science needed to unlock the tech nodes that they want. The game doesn't help by making the collecting and the management of the collected science confusing. But the truth is, is that there is ample science for you to collect. In this video, I will present five easy career mode missions that will advance you in the game while at the same time turning your tech tree from this to this. All the while, I will be detailing the science I'm collecting so you can repeat it in your own game. These missions are all rockets, no planes, no tricks, no fancy flying, and no grinding out obscure or hidden locations. Let's get started. This is a career mode game on the normal default difficulty. Changing the difficulty settings can affect the amount of science collected. With that, let's go. Start by going into mission control and grabbing the contracts, gather scientific data from Kerbin and launch our first vessel. This will be the vessel we'll be using. If you want the build and the mission in detail, then visit this video here, but we're going to get right into this by selecting a pilot, not a scientist, and launching the vessel. Start by observing one of the three mystery goos, then select keep experiment, and then use the command pod to do a crew report, and again, keep experiment. EVA your pilot and do an EVA report, but there's something else really important you'll want to do while on EVA. In order to run another crew report later in this mission, during the EVA you must take the crew report data from the command pod. This frees up the crew report experiment so that it can be run again later. If you don't do this, you will get a message telling you that you can't perform another crew report without overwriting the old one. Select one of the other mystery goos, but for now just pin the menu to the side. Then do the same thing with the command pod. Make sure SAS is on and launch. Then observe the mystery goo you just pinned. Pitch towards the east to get over the water. You can now do a crew report over the shores if you want, but I prefer to wait until I'm over the water. We'll get the shores on the next mission. With that done, deploy the parachute and descend to splashdown. After which you can observe that last mystery goo and perform a final EVA report. Once again, take the data from the command pod to free up the crew report experiment and then perform one more crew report, after which you are done and can recover. I now have 43 science. Note that this is more than just the sum of the experiments performed. There is 5 science for recovering the vessel and additional science for completing several milestones. For the next rocket, you will need to unlock the following 4 tech nodes. Basic Rocketry, Engineering 101, Survivability, and Stability. Then, in Mission Control, grab the contract Escape the Atmosphere. You can make your own call as to whether to accept any of the part testing contracts. Sometimes you will find one that ties right into the mission and is dead easy to do, but I'm not going to be doing that for this video. Finally, upgrade the Astronaut Complex to Level 2. This will allow your Kerbals to perform EVAs anywhere. Our vessel is a two-stage rocket. Again, the build and mission in detail can be found here. If you like, a third stage consisting of one more Hammer SRB will get this thing easily into high space, but I won't be doing that here. Once again, make sure you have a pilot aboard and launch. Inside the service bay are three mystery goos, a barometer, and a thermometer. Log a pressure scan and a temperature scan. Then EVA your pilot and collect the data from both of those experiments so they can be run again later. Once back aboard, take the menus for the barometer, thermometer and one of the mystery goos and pin them to the side for later use. Close the service bay doors, put on SAS and launch. Immediately after launch, perform a crew report and log both a pressure scan and temperature scan. Continue to fly straight up, making sure to stage when the lower SRB runs dry. Adjust your course to be just a tiny bit to the west. Once you pass an altitude of 18 kilometers, perform a mystery goo observation from the menu you pinned earlier. Once at an altitude of 55 kilometers, EVA your pilot and quickly perform an EVA report while your altitude is still below 70 kilometers. 
store that EVA report either directly or by boarding the capsule and perform another EVA report once above 70 kilometers. Then, once again, take the data from the command pod to free up the crew report experiment so it can be used again. Also, take the data from the barometer and thermometer to free up those experiments. While in space, perform a crew report, pressure scan, temperature scan, and a second mystery goo observation. EVA your pilot again and collect the data from the barometer, thermometer, and command pod, once again freeing up those experiments so they can be rerun. Then, once again, take the menus for the barometer and thermometer and pin them to the side and close the service bay doors in preparation for re-entry. Stage before entering the atmosphere and orient the vessel for re-entry. Once below 70 kilometers, perform another crew report as well as the pressure and temperature scans you pinned earlier. Once the parachute is fully deployed, quickly open the service bay doors and EVA your pilot. Perform an EVA report and then collect the data from the command pod and thermometer. Board and perform another crew report and temperature scan before reaching the ground. Note, we had already done the non-biome specific barometer and mystery goo right after launch. Once on the surface, collect the data from the command pod, barometer, and thermometer, perform a final EVA report, then board and finish off with a final crew report, mystery goo, temperature scan, and pressure scan before recovering. I now have 156 science to spend. Getting into orbit is a big step in this game. A new player should expect this mission to require multiple attempts before being completed successfully. That said, our next vessel should service you nicely as you practice. For this rocket, you'll need to unlock the following three tech nodes, General Rocketry, Basic Science, and Advanced Rocketry. And while in Mission Control, grab the contract Orbit Kerbin. Again, I'll leave it to your discretion if you want to grab a part testing contract too. The only science equipment aboard our vessel are two Science Juniors. I can add three more parts before hitting my part limit, so I'm going to add a mystery goo, barometer, and thermometer. Once again, make sure your Kerbal is a pilot and launch. The focus of this video is science, so if you are struggling with getting to orbit, check out this video where building and flying this rocket is discussed in detail. The first science I collected was a temperature scan once I was flying above the water. Then, once in space, I conducted my first material study. Note that I skipped the material study on the launch pad and in the lower as well as the upper atmosphere. If you want, you can perform this mission again to collect those, but I didn't for this video. Once you have achieved an orbit, perform an EVA report. Note that the EVA report is biome specific. Remain in low orbit until you have collected EVA reports over these readily available biomes, the water, shores, grasslands, highlands, mountains, and deserts. Note it's possible you may have gotten one or even two of these during mission two. It's also possible to get the much smaller Badlands biome, though I didn't for the purposes of this video. Once you've successfully collected these EVA reports, point the vessel prograde and burn until your apoapsis exceeds 250 kilometers, which is the boundary for high space. Once above an altitude of 250 kilometers, perform a crew report, pressure scan, temperature scan, mystery goo, material study, and EVA report. Note that none of these experiments are biome specific, so there is no need to repeat them. It is very important though to collect all of the data from the experiments and stow it safely in the command pod. The science juniors and mystery goo will be destroyed on re-entry. If you do not collect this valuable data, it will be lost. You also want to collect the data from the command pod, barometer, and thermometer. You may find yourself over a new biome after re-entry, and you'll want these experiments available just in case. Note that if you see the option Review Data in the context menu of an experiment, that means there's data there for you to collect. I would advise double checking to make sure you have everything. With that done, just burn retrograde to lower your periapsis into the atmosphere, stage, re-enter, and recover. With the completion of this mission, my total science is up to 229. 
For the next mission, you need to upgrade two buildings. Mission Control, which will allow you to have up to seven active contracts at a time, and the Launch Pad, which ups the mass limit of your rockets. You also need to unlock the General Construction Tech Node in Research and Development, and while in Mission Control, grab the Explore the Moon contract, which requires us to perform a moon flyby. Flying by the moon will be our final mission, but it would be much easier and more fruitful if you can upgrade two more buildings, the tracking station, which will give you maneuver nodes, and the VAB, which ups the vessel's part count limit. Unfortunately, you likely don't have enough cash for this. By now, you should be seeing the option to grab tourist contracts. At this stage, they will be a mix of suborbital and orbital missions, all stuff you've done previously, and they bring in the cash. If you're not seeing these contracts, decline contracts you aren't interested in. This will spawn new contracts. If the slight reputation hit you get from declining contracts is bothersome, you can also time warp so the contracts expire, which doesn't come with a penalty. Perform as many tourist contracts as you need to raise the cash required. Although there are no additional science experiments aboard this vessel, you may still find yourself touching down in new biomes upon returning to the surface, allowing you to get in some fresh crew and EVA reports. Either way, once you have the cash, you can upgrade the tracking station and the VAB and move on to the final mission of this video. For this rocket, you need to unlock the following three tech nodes, Flight Control, Electrics, and Aviation. This vessel houses the now unlocked Octo Probe Core, meaning we can finally replace our pilot with a scientist and still have SAS available during flight. It is important to have a scientist for this mission in order to reset the Mystery Goo and the Science Junior so they can be used multiple times. So with Bob aboard, launch. Once above an altitude of 18 kilometers, perform a material study and mystery goo. Even if you have performed these experiments previously, there will still be some science to collect. Once in orbit, use your scientist to collect the data from these experiments, restore them, and then run them again. Just like in the original tutorial video for this mission, set your injection so that you come around the moon in a retrograde direction. But unlike that video where the periapsis was set high to facilitate a free return to Kerbin, for this video we're going to set the periapsis low, at around 12 kilometers. This will yield us a lot more science, and I'll show you how to facilitate the Kerbin return when the time comes. After completing the injection burn, wait until your altitude is above 250 kilometers and perform a material study and mystery goo again. Then collect and restore the experiments. There's no more science to collect until you are in the moon's sphere of influence, where you'll collect your biggest haul yet. Once there, perform the entire suite of experiments. This is the first vessel that I bothered putting an antenna on. This is so Bob will still have good communication with the KSC around the moon. But the antenna also allows me to transmit science for the first time. That said, I'm not transmitting any of this science. As there is no limit to the amount of science that can be stored, and I will be returning the capsule, transmitting provides no advantage while presenting additional electrical demands. Indeed, many experiments apply a penalty when transmitted. Either way, once all the experiments have been run, collect the science and restore all the equipment. Don't forget the easily missed crew report in the command pod. Even more science is yet to come, but you first need to plan out your return to Kerbin. Add a maneuver node at your periapsis to the moon and begin adding prograde to the maneuver. Continue adding prograde until your periapsis with Kerbin is about 35 kilometers, well within Kerbin's atmosphere. This burn will take us home, but in the meantime, once you are below an altitude of 60 kilometers with the moon, immediately perform another EVA report. Get back inside and perform the entire suite of experiments once again, but do so quickly. The EVA report is biome specific, but only while you are below an altitude of 60 kilometers, and we're not going to be there for very long. Don't worry about collecting the data from the experiments, you'll have time to do that later, but continue to do EVA reports with your scientist, and store the data from any new biomes you discover. 
All the while, keep an eye on the time to your burn. If you miss this burn, getting home may get a lot more complicated. There will definitely come a point when this burn has to take priority. After the burn is complete, the time pressure is off. Collect the data in the experiments. Again, make sure to get it all stowed safely in the command pod. Remember, any data left in the experiments will be lost on re-entry. All the while, continue to take EVA reports until your altitude is back over 60 kilometers and you once again enter high space over the moon, at which point you've collected all the science that's available for this mission. Now you just ride the gravity slide back to Kerbin, stage, re-enter, and recover. With the science collected, you can now make a serious dent into Tier 5 of the Tech Tree. Where you decide to go after this is up to you. A next logical step would be a moon landing, but perhaps you would rather get into planes, or maybe collect the science that's available around the buildings of the KSC. Perhaps the beginnings of a space station, or maybe heading to Minmus. If there is one takeaway here, it is that grinding out every little bit of science isn't necessary, or even productive. Instead, concentrate on going higher, further, and faster. The further you get from Kerbin's surface, the more science there is available. And with that, I'll be ending this here. I hope this video has helped you see just how much science there is in this game. You just gotta go out and get it. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again for the next one.